an induction motor can be started using the simplest method known as a direct online DOL starter. This method involves directly connecting the motor to a three-phase power supply using a contactor and an overload relay to provide protection. This method applies full voltage to the motor immediately upon starting. It's typically used for smaller motors or in applications where the power supply can handle the high initial current draw. Larger motors often require different starting methods to manage the inrush current and reduce stress on both the motor and the power system. At its core, a DOL starter consists of two main components, a contactor to switch the motor on and off, and an overload protector. The specific arrangement of these components can vary based on the needs of your particular application. Understanding electrical diagrams is crucial in technical fields. Let's examine a DOL starter diagram to see how it works. I've prepared a short animation of a DOL starter diagram to help visualize the process. This will make it easier to grasp the interaction between components. The circuit breaker is closed, allowing power to reach the rest of the circuit. When the start button is pressed, the magnetic contactor is energized, closing its main contacts and connecting the motor to the power supply. The motor starts immediately at full voltage, hence, direct online. The overload relay continuously monitors the motor current. If an overload occurs, the overload relay trips, opening the magnetic contactor and disconnecting the motor from the power supply. Now we'll break down each component of this direct online starter. Circuit breaker. This device automatically interrupts the flow of electricity in a circuit when it detects a fault condition. It's designed to protect electrical circuits from damage caused by overload or short circuit. Circuit breakers can be reset after they've been tripped, unlike fuses which need replacement. In a DOL starter, the circuit breaker is the first line of defense against electrical faults. Magnetic contactor. This is an electrically operated switch used for controlling power circuits. When activated, it uses an electromagnet to close or open the main power contacts. In a DOL starter, the magnetic contactor is responsible for connecting and disconnecting the motor from the power supply. It can handle frequent switching of high current loads, making it ideal for motor control applications. Overload Relay This device protects the motor from damage caused by excessive current draw. It monitors the current flowing to the motor and trips if it exceeds a preset limit for a specific duration. Unlike the circuit breaker, which protects against short circuits and severe overloads, the overload relay is tuned to protect against less severe but prolonged overcurrent conditions that can cause motor overheating. Three-phase motor. This is an electric motor designed to run on three-phase alternating current. AC power. It's widely used in industrial and commercial applications due to its efficiency, power, and smooth operation. Three-phase motors have three sets of windings, each powered by one of the three phases of the electrical supply. This design allows for more efficient power transfer and smoother operation compared to single-phase motors. This system provides a simple and robust method for starting and protecting three-phase motors. However, it's generally suitable only for smaller motors as larger motors may require more sophisticated starting methods to limit inrush current. Understanding these components and their functions is crucial for anyone working with electrical systems, whether in design, installation, maintenance, or troubleshooting roles.